Hello, is Mr. Wig here. I'm going to make a video how to fix a puncture. Now, some garage, they don't like to do what I'm going to do. Uh, I had so many motorcycles in my life, and uh, I remember the last time actually I fixed my own puncture in my own car and motorcycle. It was more than 10 years ago. Um, it can be very expensive if you go to a garage. They, they always advise, no, we don't fix, we don't like to fix. You need a new tire or even a part one tire. Now, let me to tell you, people, men and women, you can fix it really, really cheap. Actually, you can buy on eBay this kit that I got for my friend because I'm going to fix a, a puncture for him. And I'm going to tell you how you do it. In this case, as you can see, I'm going to show you first the, the problem with, uh, in a tire. As you can see, it's indicated there, there's um, a, a screw there. He went into his tire, so in some cases you, you, you can't see it. If you can't see it, the best thing is to top up with air uh, on the valve, obvious, and, uh, yeah. and uh, put water on top, uh, special with ferry, make, you know, mix it properly so you can see the bubbles coming out and after that you know where to put the, the, um, the kit. Now this is the kit. There it is. It's the kit. You can buy several places. I think even Amazon, they do sell them. So this is specific. Cost less than two pounds and it's called the car and motorcycle kit. Um, puncture kit. And that's why you need to get this very easy as it comes with a, a different tool. Like you can see this one here, specific where you left to open, so it helps the, the, the rubber to go inside. It comes with this special tool where the, it's got a gap there, as you can see, as I will show you better. And, um, and that's where you will put the rubber inside this piece. I got five and it's got even glue that normally actually you don't need to use it. I will explain how to use And uh, normally I use, you can use a knife or, or, or something else. I use this small cutter, um, pair of pliers cutter. Show you here. Yeah. I actually, I use this for, uh, to cut my own nails. Um, but it is really, really good. So you will have to cut as close to the tire as possible, okay? So let me to show you how I do. In this case, the screw is there. So let's going to take it off first. Put it there. It could be a nail, or it, maybe it's nothing. In this case, it was easy because there was a screw there. So I'm taking it off, see what it is. Look at that. Oh, it's a big one. How did he go there? No idea. No idea. Actually, I can take it out with my hand. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this apart. All apart. Pair of pliers here. Could be useful, but I don't need So, that is the one you need. Okay, let's use the first one. Very easy, ladies or guys or boys, if you feel bra um, brave enough to do. And believe me, this will cure the, the puncture that you have. So please do it uh, as I'm saying. So put into the hole there, as you can see. Rotate to the right, make some pressure. Let me put it like this. And believe me, it's a very easy way to, to fix a puncture. Very easy and cheap. Because the garage, they, they charge you an arm and leg, really. You want it to go inside the tire completely. As you can see, it's, it's completely inside. Take it off again. Oh, actually no. There was some air now coming out. And now what do you do? Pick this kit with it with the other different tool. Yeah, can you see? Can you see there's a gap there in the middle? As you push in to go in, when you pull pull off, the the rubber will stay in the tire, as you will see. Come on. Oh, 
here it is, the strip. This is like a special rubber, really. So you put it in the middle of the gap, yeah? Push it through. As soon as it comes, it's a little hard, but push it through the gap. Oh, and it will come, as you can see. Let me show you. Huh? Look at what it is. Okay, but you can you see the, the gap here? Where you, when you pull it off, the, the piece of rubber will stay there. It comes with glue as well. Here, yeah, that you can put on, on the rubber. And that's what I'm going to do. Let's open a little hole actually with this tool in the middle. There you go. It's done. And put some glue on uh, all over the, the piece of rubber that it comes. Just put more, spread it well. I put some on the tire, and that's low. So let's go into the hole. Look at that. Let me didn't expect. <laughs> you see? So I have to make a lot of a pressure. Can you see it stay there? And there you go. I did have to push a lot to stay there. I know I can even cut it. Not a lot. Okay. No. Oh, it's quite hard. Anyway. Actually I'm glad it went. You could leave it actually, even if it would come. This is to cut my nails really. And that's why it doesn't have the, the strength. Because I, actually this is a is rubber really but what it does he seals properly and he expands actually with the heat and with the glue is going to help to to stay there 100 percent so actually i'm glad i push even further inside because there's no need actually to cut because as you using the tire more and more and more um it will disappear and it will stay flat to the tire so to let you know that all of you that you can do this in a car on a motorcycle in this case it was easy because i could find the, the, the screw on my on the motorcycle of my friend in a car sometimes or even in a bike it could be that you had a puncture but you can't see nothing so the best thing is try to inflate with air put some water uh, with the um, with bubbles on top with ferry for example mix it properly so you can see the bubbles come off you can buy this kit where it's got all the instructions behind as you can see a b c d e f it tells you steps how to do it's got in english french and Italian and it tells you step by step so the first thing is use this one and go inside rotate to the right rotate to the left to remove it off use this tool put the piece of rubber inside is slightly hard and put some glue on both sides and push it hard because it's not easy that it shows how tight because the hole yes is small but because the rubber is wide it's going to seal it 100 percent and as if it would stay a couple inches after cut it if not you can leave it like that is less than an inch and with the um, rotation of the tire it will it will it will disappear and it will stay actually flat to the tire so i hope this helps and uh, all the best thanks for watching this this video take care bye